Okay guys, chicken and duck update. We got these guys in here today because I'm going to work in a couple hours. It'll be easier catching the pen back in. It's kind of hard to see. But they have so much shade. So today's probably supposed to be 90, 93, 94-ish. There's Bucko. Bucko's a lot out. Bucko's kind of a hospital patient. It's easy to catch. These guys are so hard to catch. Especially when you're trying to leave. You're getting all sweaty. This is so hot today. This is their best bet. Everybody in here. Hanging out. Pretty much all shade. Pretty much 99% shade right now. Because the grapes really grew. Over top. So I like having it over here. The, the grapes provide really, really good shade. Uh, we got Oreo in the tub. We got the brown duck playing in the mud, and we got the white duck just chilling here. Not really any duck eggs. We've been gotten duck eggs in forever. You can see Bucko's head all the way down there. So yeah, they're in here. It used, it used to be all grass in here. Beginning of the season, I, put, I planted grass in here for them, and they went through that in probably a couple weeks, maybe two weeks. They just destroyed the grass in here. But they're gonna fertilize it and get ready for next year too. I kind of plan a little bit later what the grass wasn't as tall as it normally is. Normally it's a lot taller. But we had a weird spring. Let's so the ducks are in here hanging out today. Uh, I have to give Catch Bowen does his video. I'm going to catch Bucko and give him his foot treatment. So the chickens are up to in here. I have to give him a little bit more feed. So they went through all that water already. It's going to be a hot one today. So they're going to go through a bunch of those waters, I bet. Since I broke the other water container. And the grass in here is no longer really green. Uh, it's kind of dying off now. And they eat a lot. They ate a lot of the. Well, they ate so much of the basil plant. The basil plant is pretty much gone. They destroyed that. They definitely love eating weeds. Since they can't really come outside much of the garden's gone, this is definitely a big help for them. So, kind of just like being outside, but they still have their space in here. It's pretty big. They're, they're, they have more than enough room to be in here. They have so much space. This thing's about maybe eight foot by. Four feet. Let me get a chicken. They're dust bathing on a log, on wood. It's definitely a hot one today, so it's gonna be nice and cool in here. So we got. I'm gonna go catch Bucko now and give Bucko his normal foot treatment. So let's go grab Bucko. Okay, guys, everyone's back in here now. Uh, so I'm about to go to work in about a half hour or so. So in here that I won't be getting home till late. I don't want to be outside. I won't be getting home till like 11. Probably 10 or 11 o'clock. If not, who knows what happened. Maybe later. So, because the raccoons come out at night and the cats, I don't we see cats around. I'm worried that it will mess them up. We don't want anyone getting hurt. We did lose one to a hawk before or something. We still don't exactly know what happened. So, better being safe and sorry. Safe and sorry. Then we have a lot of room here, so it'll be fine. I have to give them some new, more food. So that should be the end for today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's chicken and duck update. We got Bucko's. Bucko's getting a lot better. He's doing good. Just want to try and get out. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys again.